another day in paradise. So last episode of Hermitcraft, we made some landscaping and am I loving it? That squiddy is about to die. Who needs a squid farm when you can just have it like this? Love it. So yeah, last episode we did some landscaping and it might be super pointless, but it does give the base a little bit of character and you guys seem to like it as well. But to be fair, it is not only pointless because we did also add, well, a bridge was not a thing we did add, but that's gonna come in the future. We did add this house over here and a little farm just around the corner like so. So now we have two villagers just roaming about getting all the wheat for our mud farm. And by the way, when that guy is out on the balcony, it looks amazing because he just comes out now and then and just stands here and it just adds so much to the vibe. Uh, look at him. He's super thrilled. Or maybe not. Uh, sir? Okay, maybe not. However, I did ask you guys about a collection system for the farms and I did go with the whole like uh, Hooper minecart system. Might not be the best solution, but I think it's going to be the most lag efficient. And now we might be asking like who else, but where does this, oh, oh lag spike, where does this, uh, <laughs> just talking about lag and lag spike just hits, but yeah, it ends up over here. The so-called mud room. And by the way, look at this. So I didn't mention this in the last episode because I wanted to have those tool racks, but I was like, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to do them. And somebody actually did like a little tutorial for me on Twitter. So now I have those. Look at this. Boom. Bam. I broke it. I fix, I fix, don't worry. So this is part of the, oh no, I made it even worse. So yeah, this is part of like of the, of the statues book we've got on the server. And let me see, I just do stand visible. No, ha ha. And I can just grab my shovel, put it back, grab the hoe, put the hoe back. And it just works amazingly. So yeah, we've got this. And then back here, that's, that's the door. Back here, we have the whole like hopper system going around underneath both farms. It goes up here, it unloads. And then we have the like the impulse little like sorting system or auto sorter thingy majiggy. So we get all the wheat coming here and we get plenty of it. So now we can make mud and I even make like this little nano farm, which is I cannot stand here like doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, by the way, look at this. The beautiful Hoffen made me a straw hat to embrace like the full paradise vibe and I'm loving it. Like, let me just show you free cam this up. We even get a little like pineapple flower. What's supposed to be like the pineapple from, from my shirt. And I'm loving it. However, like the outfit will hopefully change throughout the season because we're going to be embracing like the full like tropical vibe like El Presidente. But we will see. However, am I loving it? Yes, Hoffen, you're amazing. I'm going to link Hoffen in the description. So check, 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 check them out, okay? But in who's anyhow, what is happening in between episodes? So our beautiful neighbor XB came by with a little gift to repairing bridges. So what happened? Okay, XB... He killed me. He did. He did. And I, I kind of forgive him now, but I didn't forgive him at the time. And now he gave, gave me a gift. So what happened? I died in a trap set for XB in Demise, which was made by Wells Knight. I don't have it on camera, but XB does. So do check it. Check, check it out. But yeah, he left a little gift. And XB, I'm a simple man. I forgive you. And I was sent into orbit by Grian and Joel. It made my computer crash. Oh, XB. To infinity and beyond. And some say that I'm still flying. I think they used 74, 74 TNT minecarts. It, uh, it made a hole. However, XB has risen from the ashes and he's going all Stark Mansion, going all Iron Man. Love it. I mean, just look at this floor he's got going. It's absolutely beautiful. However, in today's episode of Hermitcraft, there is one thing which is a little bit of an eyesore for me. And that is not that. That's actually beautiful. This over here, the huge portal, we've got the compensator. I could live with the compensator, but it's a little bit of an eyesore, but not as much as like from Beef's kitchen window. Oh, just imagine doing the dishes. And by the way, Beef, this is such an awesome idea. So this is like the, the armor stand mod as well, a little tap. And by the way, Beef's done a fantastic job on the like interior design of his house. I'm not gonna show you just in case of spoilers, but look at this. So I kindly asked Iskal about it, okay? I said, Iskal, your beautiful portal is destroying the vibe when I'm trying to fish. And you know what he said? He said, turn around and fish that away. So that brings me to today's project. And that is a lake. And we will poop it down just here in the bag. So I can just sit here, fish and look at, yeah, maybe that is not better. No, this is definitely better. But, and by the way, I love the portal. Like, this lake has been in the plans for, for quite some time. Like my own little put and take lake is going to be going all the way. Oh, by the way. I found like a, like a little skelly spotter. Just, I mean, convenience. 
I think so. I do have like a double skelly farm that way, but yeah, this is much closer. But yes, as I was saying, it's gonna be going all the way here, all the way around, and then we can just sit here and enjoy a piña colada. But first, there's some commotion over at spawn. We've just completed the game of demise, and we have our winner. It's false! Yay! Yay! Congrats! You're the best. You're the best. There's some reapers still here, and you guys didn't you didn't succeed so we've set something up <laughs> false if you look over there there's a nice lovely podium with uh dispensers which yeah. are completely harmless so if you go and stand on your podium <laughs> here we go oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> it's as easy as that so you're probably wondering what is the mysterious prize for demise and what is behind me here well like i said we already know what it is but i'm going to explain what these are because they are quite a big deal for our whole shopping experience for the rest of the season. Behind me is a big machine that is going to dispense something called a hermit permit. And a permit allows you and you alone to sell a single item or a collection of items in a shop. It will say what it is. So it might say sand and you have the permit to sell sand in a shop that you create. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yay! 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 Permit permits! Right. First thing to mention is we're going to get six permits. And you'll see that they are in different tiers. We have an iron tier, we have a gold tier, and we have a diamond tier, which I've been calling S tier because they're they're the best items, the ones that everyone wants, they're the best sellers, etc. It's really important for everyone to understand that this is an extremely subjective list. Everyone will have their own personal preference, and just because two permits are in the same category does not necessarily mean they are of equal weight, if you can do such a thing with a subjective list. But, having said that, we've done our best to distribute them in a way that you definitely want an S tier and you won't be fussed about an iron tier. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, I think we're there, except I need to announce what False's prize is, because Ooh. her prize Ooh. is what's in this Ooh. shulker box. Ooh. Come and come, 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 come. False, you can open whoop, whoop. it up. It's not she, what is it? What is it? She open has it. won a Joker permit. So Ooh. this is oh. oh. to choose what oh. this permit is for. So cool looking. <laughs> wow. But what, that's amazing. That once so she's cool. chosen, yep. that's wow. it. Okay, so if she chooses bamboo, Ooh. it's bamboo forever. Finally, get our hands on our six permits. And we're going to go in reverse order from the winner to the loser of Demise. Wait, what? So that, <laughs> the loser of Demise. <laughs> if there is a loser, and it is, it is Impulse. Impulse was the loser. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to remind people? I don't game. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're only going to show our own permits in a video. So if you want to see what everyone else has got, you're going to have to go and do 27 skips of a video. So, Corrales, <laughs> you're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, All right, okay. Kay. Let's go, Kay, man. Let's go, Sexy Corrales. Get it, Papa Kay. Pink glass. And you're <laughs> feeding. <laughs> vines. I take vines. And vines are good. Vines are good. And beehives. Beehives oh, are good. Yeah, yeah, that's there you go. That's good. Mm, not bad, not bad. Dude, what the? Gold this horse deer. is losing his mind. This horse is freaking out. <laughs> skulk and skulk veins. And candles. Oh, nice. Dude, this horse is oh, candles. 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 Oh, candles. candles. Oh, that's, that's so good. good. Oh, yeah. That does. Corrales, that's okay. so good. Come on. Yeah. Is it? It's a good hit. Yeah, you got some really good and ones. Candles. All right, here goes nothing. Diamond. <laughs> what is this horse no logs, doing, no logs, dude? No logs, no logs, no it's logs, no pass. logs. <laughs> it's, <awesome. laughs> it's the cherry wood one, right? Tough and careless hide. Oh, he got oh, 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 tough. Oh, oh. Tough luck. Best oh, good, one. good one. What's yeah. your mind, oh, Don't be buy. disappointed with that. It's a great one. You'll be rich. But I don't want to be rich. I just want to live a peaceful life. For a moment, at least. So we got vines, beehives and bee nests, pink glass, candles, skulk and skulk veins, and tough and calisite. Honestly, I'm not super thrilled. I think we need to do some trading. I love this place. Thank you. Uh, let me just... There we go. So I can see your face. So... As I said, I, I do love. <laughs> I love this place, by the way. But I came by Thank because. <sighs> so I came by because yesterday yeah. we had a little. <laughs> 
So yesterday we had a little thingy, you know. With a... We did have a little thingy. I, Come you on, know what? Simon. This is driving me crazy. Let's just okay. There we go. Hi. I, we had a permit thingies, and I, I, like a dis- disappointment would be an understatement from my side. Uh, okay. However, I did get one. What did you get? One. What did you get? Oh, like uh, I was like. I was hoping for not getting any logs, which I didn't, but I did get tough yeah. and calcite. I mean, tough Ooh. and calcite, that's a tough one. Tough and calcite. Tough mm. luck, man. Tough luck. I mean, tough's going to be a big seller, but it does mean lots of mining. But yeah, but calcite. I mean, somebody, some people love building with calcite. Problem is, like, yeah. it's hard to obtain. Oh, you got to find the geodes. The oh, geodes, dude, man. Pain. The geodes. Yeah. There's tons of mining. Luckily, I got two kits, so hopefully I can employ those guys just just mining okay. way. I got candles as like my gold one, Ooh, which personally that's a nice combo. Uh, all the yeah, bits. yeah, the I bits. love that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I got something which I, I I don't want at all. Okay, what you got? What you skulk got? and skulk veins. However, does not yes. include sensors or shriekers. Looks something like this. Aha! And I know you know that I've got something you want. <laughs> I have heard through the grapevine once again that you might have some bee related stuff. I I've got this this very fancy little that bee-related. is honeycomb. That's the, that's the honeycomb. Mm-hmm. Would you mind trading this? Um, you know, I actually wanted like something really interesting that would suit my sci-fi theme. You know, and honey doesn't really suit sci-fi very well. No, nah, no. Nah, Whereas nah, like skulk nah, and nah, stuff, nah. you know, like this is kind of interesting. I, I think I can make like a really interesting farm out of this. Um, much more That's interesting great. than honeycomb. So well, yeah, I, I'm I'm happy with this trade. I think this is great. Well, I'm not I'm not super stoked, but it is it is going <laughs> with the theme, I guess, right? <laughs> so so it is. I what mean, it dude, is. if you if you can monopolize <laughs> monopolize the honey and the candles and everything bee related, I mean, this is you know this is gonna cook with some gas, dude. So honeycomb, you don't do it. no. I'm happy with that trade. What is this? Hello. 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 Look at you having your store up already. <laughs> this is amazing. Are we selling yeah. stuff? Because yeah. I need. We are. I I need. I need. Oh wow 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 wow. Oh yeah, be careful. Be careful. If yeah, it's it's a little bit, you, it's you know? a little bit dangerous. <laughs> okay, so you know what? I'm actually going to be your first customer because I'm going to be are building a little bit. Yeah 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 yeah. Packed mud, free no diamonds. Way. Six, two, fifteen diamonds just wasted. Hey, and and it's, it's not even done yet. How's or is it, it done? Wasted? Maybe it is done. It I don't is know. done. How dare <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. You. This it's, is this is obviously finished, Kralis. What do you mean? I, well, well it, is, it is very modest, I would say. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. I like it. It is just up my alley. We have this shop over here, and we have something makeshift up here as well. Mm-hmm. What is that? Yeah. Oh. It's a. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. No, it's all right. I didn't here see I am. it. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody saw. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was zoomed in. I couldn't, couldn't even see. That what is, is a wall this? Shop, I think. Ah, yeah. who is who's made this? Yeah. Because this is just next to my. Joe, I think. You know, you know, you know, you know. You know, the funny thing is that if you just what? come over here, stress. Yeah. Do you do you see this little like scaffolding pillar with the little torch on top? I do. Yeah. That's my it? that's my double spider farm. So Joel is oh. <laughs> running back and forth to my spider farm and selling oh. technically my wool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is no. that so? He is. <laughs> He's selling my wool for one timer per stack. <laughs> well, he got the best end of the deal there, I think. <laughs> like you, it could not be more obvious, right? Oh, no. Like maybe if it was a little bit closer to the to the pillar over here, but I can't believe that. I, it's a good that's so funny, man. Obviously, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> yeah. Stress. Nice doing yeah. business with you. All right. And Have you. fun Thanks with them. Um, with the beautiful hat you've made. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Cheers. See ya. Bye. See ya. Mr. Joe Hills. Howdy, Corrales. How are Hi, you? Hi, Joe. I'm fine, thank you. Let me just tie my horse to this fine establishment of yours, like so. Joe, it's kind of funny. No, I was here not long ago talking to stress and i just noticed all this all this wool just next to that spider farm just over here I know, what, um, a coincidence, what a coincidence it's like it's like somebody should have a cut of all the profits from this business 
Well, you know, <laughs> what's more important to me was making sure that Cleo didn't realize it was there because she's got the string permit. So, oh, yeah, no. I definitely, I definitely oh. made sure that when she logged on, there was no string left in the spider farm. So this, this is isn't great. about hurting you, Corrales. This is about hurting Cleo. But anyhow, Joe, you know what? Like, I have a permit, which I'm not especially fond of. Like, it's not, mm. it's, it's a great permit. Trust me, okay? It is a great permit, but... Some people might be curious, why you trade this away for, for that one, right? But I, I'm kind of like, kind of curious. You've got a leaf permit. All the bushes. All the bushes. Yeah. It literally yeah. says all the leaves in all, all the bushes. caps for the word, yeah, word all. Yep. All the bushes. <sighs> so what I've got is tough and catacites. It's a diamond tier one. And it is a good one. It's something you can enjoy during your streams as well, Joe. Getting uh, Geonotes uh, adventures going. Would you mind trading that beautiful dime permit for the leaves one? I think that that would be a very wise choice on my part. However, I am a little bit worried about one little detail, you know? Tell me. That's that spider farm over there. I'm worried that somebody's going to build a shop on top of it, and I'm never going to be able to access it again. Could you maybe build some sort of entrance over it to make sure nobody builds on top of that and you know, then, like promise that I could access it forever? That's funny because if you just come with me over here, right? So mm -hmm. the thing is that I'm going to be building a lake oh. in this very episode, okay? And this lake will be stretching to about here, which means my leaf shop, if you trade, that is, will be mm -hmm. here in the future, which kind of becomes a part of this thing as well. So you will have an entrance to it through my shop. That sounds perfect. Mm -hmm. I, am, uh, mm -hmm. I am fine to trade you all the leaves. All the leaves. Let me just read this. All the leaves. All the mm -hmm. leaves. All the bushes. Mm -hmm. All the bushes. All I'm happy yeah. with this, Joe. Like, I know it, it, it's just a gold permit, right? But, but for me and the jungle theme, I think this is going to go hand in hand tough yeah. uh, not so much it's it's a diamond permit in your heart and that's what matters don't judge me i like my bushes and now to some satisfying block removal however before the big dig let's have a few words from today's sponsor today's episode is brought to you by the kind people over at express vpn so you might have been watching a few first episodes in the new season of hermitcraft and been thinking like hey this kind of reminds me of i i, I don't know the movie Castaway. Love it. And I just saw it a few weeks ago as well. So let's say you live in the US and you want to see Castaway. You go to Netflix and type Castaway. And lo and behold, there is no Castaway to be found. But it is available in 29 other countries like Australia, Good Day Mate, Belgium, Bonsoir, Czech Republic, Dobrydin, France, Bonjour, Germany. Golden Dog! So why? Why keep paying for a service when you only get a fraction of it? Let's just connect to Germany and let's see if it's there. And this is by far my favorite thing with ExpressVPN. Just try to get the most out of my subscriptions. And let me show you how simple this is. So now in the US, there's no castaway on Netflix inside whatsoever. Let's connect to Deutschland, Germany and Frankfurt. And ich bin in Deutschland. Let's restart Netflix. Cast away. And there it is. So now we can watch Tom Hanks playing with balls. I mean, Wilson, the volleyball. <laughs> Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> ExpressVPN also makes it safe and secure for you online by masking your unique IP address, making it much harder to identify and track across the internet. And they also have high-speed servers in 105 countries. And one subscription can be used on multiple devices. So stay safe, stay secure, and avoid annoying geoblocks. And if you want to find out how you can get free extra months for free, go to the link in the description, which is expressvpn.com slash And now, ladies and gentlemen, back to Hermitcraft.
ladies and gentlemen, we've got a hole. It might not be the best hole, but it is my hole. Also, a huge shout out to XB for helping out. XB, I could not have done it without you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okay, so what is the plan over here? So I myself have an inspiration folder, and I was like, hmm, do I have any lake inspiration? And yes, oh boy, I had quite a few one, but there was one which I really liked. It was by a YouTuber called Impetus Builds. Uh, they don't upload anymore, but I'm gonna link this channel in the description, all right? But that lake was bean shaped, and I was like, hmm, that might look really nice over here, like a bean shaped lake. But the cool thing about that inspiration was that it had like a cliff on, on one of the sides. So I'm thinking like having a cliff going all the way around here is going to make it like a nice elevation towards the shopping district because my shopping will be situated just, just there. And then we're going to have this little stream over here going all the way here, maybe going that direction, but no but. There will be a little waterfall somewhere here going into the lake, maybe a bridge here and there. Hello, coconut. Don't go crazy, brain worms. Um, so yeah, believe, okay? Enjoy another time lapse. have an idea it might be a terrible idea but i have an idea okay so the idea itself oh by the way this is this is this is not done yet uh, there's no water because the idea itself is in before the water so i don't want to add the water and then have to remove it just in case we're going to do the idea uh idea so uh what do you guys think okay there's going to be a little bit more like uh, stuff added to the bottom of, of the lake there's going to be like uh, well seagrass i guess maybe some pebbles and rocks and, uh, and whatnot tropical fishes maybe even i don't know we will see can name those guys but uh but yeah so we have this over here so this is going to be one of the passages leading up to the to the shopping district and to my shoppy which is going to be here well technically it would be here which is a little bit of a stretch from the whole lake itself i kind of thought it would be bigger than this but but it's not it doesn't matter because we can have like uh, beehives palm trees flowers like just making like a beautiful farm maybe you have a bee farm underneath here somewhere about but you know the idea itself okay listen to me Listen, this, this this might not work out, but you know, like if we have the, the armor stand mod on the server and we can make him invisible and I, I myself, I love fishing in real life. Wouldn't it be kind of cool having like some type of armor stand launcher, which kind of launches on like a, like a day, daylight sensor. You know how, how fishes just jump when they hunt in the mornings or evenings. Wouldn't it be kind of cool having just a little like, I don't know, salmon head jumping back and forth each day. Maybe just here, one on that side. Tons of lily pads. Let's go into creative. Let, let, let's just figure this out. Okay, hear me out. So this is a contraption I saw in a Bambu Jambu video, which is like super old. If there's a new version of this, please let me know, okay? But envision that that is a cut head uh, on an invisible armor stand, like so. We launch it. It goes all the way to about, let me see here, where did it land? Wonder if they land on the same place each time. Yes, 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 they do. Oh, oh no, no, no. Because that means if we would build another contraption over here, connect that to like a daylight sensor, that would be just going back and forth, back and forth on a daily basis. And this is super pointless, but it's going to look amazing. Will it work? Mm, kind of. Okay, it's a little bit jumpy, and I think we need to wait until it's kind of like fully finished, and then boom, it goes back. But it's going to be jumping pretty much just once per day or twice per day. So, so I don't think it matters as much. It's not going to be like going boom, 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 boom and bam however i didn't take that to account we would be able to submerge this somehow in the water i think we could okay there's one more problem and that is water physics will this fly the same distance underwater he's done it it took some time but i think i figured this out and by the way this is not pretty not pretty at all but it does work take a peek at this bam so the distance is a little bit shorter like here we have about the nine blocks in between without the water in water with some bubbles it does about six and this version could be submerged all the way let me see where is that arm stand standing i'm still standing uh, uh, uh. yeah it could be submerged all the way to about i guess this block it, this okay this will be 
Amazing. You can just see a little like cod head or salmon head popping up and down. Boom. But I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to be adding this. Not in today's episode. Because if you guys got any suggestions to do this in a better way, please let me know. But it could, it could work. It, well, it does technically work. And it could be hidden. I'm not sure how to connect it to like a daylight sensor and such, but... Or maybe just like a hopper clock. Oh, I'm almost a genius. I feel like Bumbo Jumbo. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, like, I'm not going to do that today, but it would be so amazing just seeing them going back and forth, back and forth on a daily basis. But, uh, but, but yeah, let me know in the comment section, because we can make it. I think we will make it. And how? I don't know. And I'm also thinking, like, what is the easiest way to fill this lake of ours? Is it ice or is it buckets with water? Um, hmm. Do I, okay, maybe here. And then it becomes a water log or water source. Okay, this was this was easier than I thought it would be. I mean, this is just pretty much... Just started this. We already filled one layer. Kelp, maybe. No, 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 no. I don't think kelp was going to be the fastest. I don't know. Let me just fill this up. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Is it amazing? I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Like, it's not done. It's not fully done. We're going to have, like, the dense jungle up here. My shop is going to be there. There's going to be, like, more decoration on the, on the, on the beaches over here. But... I'm a simple man. I think this looks really, really nice. And then we will add like more like lily pads, getting more seagrass added, maybe some pebbles, as I said before, some rock formations inside of the lake. This is going to be super snazzy. Like, there are so many different ways I could have spent my time better today, but I'm happy with what we accomplished throughout this, this episode. And one more thing I want to have. So over here, I've been thinking, because this is pretty much going to be the center of the base, because we're going to have the shopping district. My shop is going to be here. We've got all the storage things over here. Could be stuff in the back. And there's a thing. So Ifo, Tango, and Pearl, they're going to be doing like some type of a mailbox service. Like it's some redstone magic, okay? But it works. And I want to have myself a mailbox. And since this is going to be like pretty much centered and everything, maybe just have it here. Yeah, because obviously this is going to be expanded upon in the back. This river is going to be going somewhere about. I did add a little waterfall over here. And what do you think? Yeah, it's a thing. It's a, there's, there's so many blocks placed. <laughs> My face is hurting. But nevertheless, let's go to Pearl. Let's order ourselves a mailbox. Like this. This is such a Pearl build. Like the color theme she's using. I'm loving it. Like I'm so in love with the colors. Like especially having the warped warped uh, wood combined with orange is just so nice so let's see if we can order ourselves a mailbox not sure pearl is here though P -p pearl P -p pearl oh there's ifo but where's pearl at is she back home okay let's just check this out like i need i need to spend more time around this place because this, this, like look at this I have not, not even been in that area yet. There are symbols is like cyberpunk city. Like, look at this. Majestic. Evil's place. And then we have Pearl's place. Oh, that is something you guys suggested. That getting tons of those little, like, uh, parrot thingy majigis. That is something. Can you, can you make babies with those guys? Don't look at me like that. I'm just asking those guys. Um... Pearl? <laughs> Doorbell. Love it. Pearl, I know she's here about. She said I could come by, but 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 she's no oh no. Where is my horse at? Yes, I want it my house. Hey Pearl! Hello. May I may I say that skin? Yes. Wow. Oh, oh my skin! Yes, I'm ready for duty, sir. Ready to deliver some mail. This is the coolest thing ever. This is, this is incredible. What Thank is you. that? What is the little baggy thingy? What is that? It's my little mail bag. So just in case I need to, cut, you know, put to put parcels around the server, I can stuff them in the bag and then shove them out when they're all ready. I've heard for the grapevine, there's a beautiful post office where you can order yourself a mail delivery service package building. That is correct, and good a timing too, because I uh, just finished the building. So come and have a little look, see, because right here. When I, I was approaching, when I was approaching, I, I said like, "This is such a like pearl build." 
the color theme. <laughs> I love it. Like I should use it more should, often yeah. myself because having the warped bluish with the orange and red uh -huh. colors, oh, it's so, I'm, 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 I'm getting all excited over it, here. It <laughs> does work, Maybe doesn't it? Oh. It's, it's a strange combination, but it oddly works. It, it is. Uh, it is <laughs> a beauty. You just, you just dig a hole in the front lawn. Oh, you just wait and see. I see stuff over here. You, you remember when you were you remember when you were at home or at Aww, my place? Is Carole. this Am I being more okay. annoying than Jem or uh, Well no, the thing is Jem flicked them all except left like one or two and that was really triggering. Oh no, you know what? I'm not I'm not that person. I will fix this instantly. I mean I deserve it. I, you, you, I do, deserve you do, you do. You know, there we go. Oh, I'm okay. so sorry That's about fine. that. But you it is a fantastic looking building. <laughs> It's it's beautiful. Thank you. I haven't seen it all from all sides, but it does say no. doesn't say post. It does say post. I need to maybe add a few more extra signs, like one lower to the Let ground and one around the back, so you can see all up. angles. Like fr <laughs> from from from, uh, from in there in uh, in there, it does say pock pocked pock. It says post. Thank you very much. Pocked. It says post. There's a little little tick on on the bottom of that. I I, I didn't have any room for the bottom of the S. Okay, don't judge me too hard. Look at the little bird nest back there. Oh, I love it. I love it to bits. Sorry, I, I was using freak out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was you. using freak out. That's, uh, that's awesome. So, so Pearl, tell me, you know, I, I want to place an order, okay? That, that's something I want to yes. do because I want to have a mailbox. Do you have mm -hmm. like a, a mock up of the size of the mailbox? Somewhere I do. About? Oh. Step this way, sir. Step this way. Come inside. Come inside. Come on. Come on. You also get to see the interior as well as it is. <laughs> Welcome to the mail room. <laughs> Don't mind the birds, they're friendly, this including just, my postal pigeons. This is absolutely they beautiful. Box is coming you. soon. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, yes, look at PO this. Boxes. No but, way! Oh, okay. You're getting a sneak uh, peek at the stamps there. We are, we are not selling them just yet because we're oh, going to get wow. the mailboxes okay. set up for everybody. We will be handing out stamps when the time comes. Two diamonds but, per stamp uh, bundle. That yes, is you perfect. do get some trial stamps to start uh, start things up when you get your mailbox, but you will have see, to buy I see. after that. Oh, well, oh, well, well, well. But anyway, is this? this is the mailbox. Unfortunately, this one is not uh, fully functional. It's not hooked up to the system for me to show you entirely how it okay. works. But essentially, you'll be sending your mail through this little section here. You'll, be, you'll place a shulker there. Uh -huh. It'll destroy the shulker and send it through. You'll put a stamp in the dropper and that'll tell it where to go. Love it. And then on this side is where you get your receiving stuff. You'll get little sounds happening and all that kind of stuff. Get some mail. Okay. I kind of want to ask how this works, but I don't think I will ask how this works because I oh. think my brain can handle this. Or do you have... Step oh. this way. Oh, wow. This is a grand tour. I can't, I can't really give you the full technological <laughs> oh. knowledge on all okay. of this, but... Uh, Where did you go? You know, okay, you here. can at least see the redstone. Yeah, all right, look at this. this oh, okay, so, so this is, is the size of the whole thing. Exactly. And, and so technically... Be aware of how much space. <laughs> hmm, okay, so how high is this? How high... Uh, would you, that would be this well, height. One, two, one, two, three, four. Is there redstone on top of that? No. No. So not. pretty much, okay. this so could be replaced one, with two, any three, other block, four, right? Five. This could yes, be replaced with fine. any other block. So it's kind of a roofing so type of deal. Technically, four blocks tall. It could fit within four blocks, with that block being a different one. One thing to note where it is as well. Uh -huh. Can't have anything underneath it, at least oh. uh, uh, until Y zero, because it goes has to go down that far. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. And so, when could I expect I got like a delivery of the system? Good question. That uh -huh. all depends on my employees, Tango and Etho. They're, they're currently <laughs> running frantically around the server, setting up their fantastical redstone. Uh, all right, um, all right. I see, I see. But, you know, hopefully within the next week or two, I know it seems like a really long time, but it's, it's a lot of redstone. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine with that. Fun. So, oh, look at that. It's even like mail. It, oh, so, uh, love it. So, no, no, no. I know, two, two, weeks, two weeks is fine. I'm kind of trying to yes. figure out where I'm going to have this this whole thing. And how much will this set me back? Well, I Mr. Sure mail you're lady? doing the installments for free, but you're going to have to pay for the stamps as they come. All right. Well, I take that. That's I mean, that is, the, two diamonds the, is nothing. The, the price yeah. is just make some fun content out of it and annoy people with mail. Perla, I will I will prepare the area. I will mark it out and I will just send you like a little thingy magic message that is done. And you good, won't be able good. to miss it. Okay? Two weeks. Okay. Sounds good. Well, you, it just says uh, send the coordinates earlier than that and then I can just get you scheduled in for the next installation. I will Thanks. screenshot the area. Okay? 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. Make love sure. the house, love the building, love everything about you. Thank you so much, Pearl. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I'm so excited. Perfection. I think this is going to be a great spot for it. Just overlooking the lake. You're going to have like a dock or a pier going out here. One maybe over there. Some sunbeds maybe. Even some towels on the beach. I, I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah. You know, like hospitality. We can't have just people coming over and working. They got to have a little place to stay as well. Outdoor toilet. Safety third. A bed. They can even sit here and just enjoy. Okay. Mistakes were made. The, the eating uh, facility was placed just outside outdoor toilet. But it is what it is. They even got a refrigerator with milk and cookies. Because it's like Santa <laughs> kind of covered. But yeah, so so I mean, I think this is going to be a great spot for it. Don't ask questions, okay? They even got a book. Oh, this is... This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is bad but yeah i think this is gonna be great and i am like super excited because i have no idea how it works but it's something to do like the stuff is gonna be dropping down to like bedrock and then teleporting in a portal somewhere about into the i don't don't ask me okay i'm, I'm just super excited for it but uh, this will conclude today's episode and on this bombshell i would say i guess but uh but let me know what you guys think about this this whole lake project i mean it might be a little bit pointless one thing which I realized that I need to have maybe even a path going this way. Because now I keep jumping from that over that and that is not, not the greatest. Okay, we do have this path, but it's going much further around. So yeah, not the greatest, I guess. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Shaders, does it work? Oh, I mean, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I've got like the pyramids themselves, candles, honeycomb, all the leaves then we have the vines and we have the beehives and bee nests maybe not the best ones but but i'm happy with them because i can just see the little like candle and bee shop up here i think it's gonna look phenomenal but uh yeah until the next episode subscribe if you haven't leave a like or maybe just even a comment and oh yeah, yeah yeah let me know if you guys get any suggestions when it comes to the to the like the jumping fish solution the armor stands there might be a better way to do that. But but yeah, I'm not that great with redstone, so. So it is what it is. Thank you so much. Keralis is signing off from the Hermitcraft server for this week. See you guys in the next episode.